It's launch day for a brand new map and season here of Minecraft Prison, so we're going to jump straight into it and see how good of a start we can get here on day one. Yes, hello everybody and welcome back into a brand new episode and season here of Minecraft Prison. Today, of course, we are back here on Akuma MC, the best, number one rated, most overpowered, most insane Minecraft Prison server. Back again for a brand new season, guys. Everything has been reset, everything has been refreshed, and we are starting from absolutely zero again today. Now, I would recommend if you guys are looking to join and play a Minecraft Prison server, then this is absolutely absolutely the best time to join everybody is on a level playing field you can all start with a completely fresh account and you can come on and grind the best server right now which is exactly what we're going to be doing today we are taking this fresh start and seeing just how successful we can be today and just how far we can get on our first day here of minecraft prisons now absolutely do stay tuned because every time there's a brand new season i get the ability to give away one of the top ranks here on the server worth a whole bunch of money so just stay tuned to find out how you can be with the chance of winning that i'll be announcing that later on in the video Video. But we got to do the things which you would do every season, which of course is a slash reclaim. This is going to give me any of the perks which I need to essentially claim back from any ranks and such, which does enable me to start with pickaxe level 40 and rank 30. Other than that, uh, it gave me a couple of mystery vaults as well. One thing I do want to do is I want to go ahead straight away and, uh, you know, get my get my votes in because that's going to essentially give me a whole bunch of free rewards. So let's go ahead and make sure that we vote on every link. All right, there we have it. All of my votes are officially in. We actually looks like we've got some brand new boosters this season. It looks like they are um, like, I, I don't know, displaying in a slightly different way than they have done before. So that's an interesting thing to have. Um, and I guess it actually makes it more distinctive as well. So it actually kind of works out. So that's a cool thing to note. I'm assuming we've got some vote keys for that as well so let's go ahead and open up those see what we're starting with here um we've also got some sovereign keys as well i guess just from being online um we are going to get some grenades and rpgs and stuff now i do want to test the actual like uh, like how useful these are going to be this season because to be honest with you in prior seasons they've not really been useful at all so um yeah i only, I only really need to be gathering items like that if they're actually going to be of use to me Let's open up these Mystery Vault Golds, though. This should be a good start for us. It usually does hand me off some good tokens and stuff like that. We do get some Mythical Skin Boxes right off the bat as well here. So we'll go ahead and redeem all of those. Get those applied. We might as well start our journey for different pickaxe skins about now. Give these RPGs a quick test to see just how much of a uh, rank up they're going to do for me. They don't look like they're really doing too much, to be honest with you. Um, even in the lowest tier of mine, well, yeah, well, I guess it's like the second tier of mine. These really aren't doing anything. So I think I'm immediately going to filter out RPGs. Uh, the ones that might do something might be the like Artisian torches or whatever they were called. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into slash keys. We're just going to filter out these all the way up to uh, like right here, I think, until we get these torches. Then they might actually start to be useful, but I don't think they will be. I'm going to give these common grenades a go as well. I think the story is going to be somewhat the same. Yes, it is with those as well. So I'm not even going to bother with those. Those have not been useful for me for a good few seasons now. So I don't think they're going to be useful anytime soon. So let's just go ahead and I'm just going to take off, to be honest, all of those. I don't really see myself needing them. All right. And the last thing that I want to do before we actually start mining any blocks and actually making any significant progress is I want to go ahead and claim my V kits because obviously this is going to give me a whole bunch of stuff which will benefit me for the start of the season. So it's always a nice thing to have immediately when we do launch. I'm going to go ahead and like put away all the armor and stuff and just use the openables because obviously those are where the value lies for me right now, especially on the start of the map. Um, it's going to give me a whole bunch of stuff which should help me with a little bit of a boost, but we'll see what we've got as we unlock everything. We've got Valentine's V kit, Summer V kit, and there we go. That is us done there. So Let's go ahead and put all of this stuff away that we don't need, which actually isn't much right now. So let's go ahead and claim our robot generators. We might as well get those done, uh, get ourselves a nice little AFK income started. They're not going to be anything crazy because obviously they're not upgraded at any kind of tier right now. But that's OK. They're still going to be better than absolutely nothing, which is what we've got right now. We'll open up all of these mystery vault bronzes as well. Get as many tokens and goodies from those as we possibly can. We'll take all of the skin fragments that we can possibly get as well, because we are building up to our first pickaxe skin, which we do not have yet. Um, let's open up all of these relic caches as well. These should give me a whole selection of tokens here. These are going to help me with my first in chance of the season, hopefully. That is my, uh, well, that is my aim and my hope. So we'll have to see exactly what we do manage to get out of these. But I've got a feeling it's going to be a good result. Let's go ahead and open up the rest of these relic caches. And then we'll be left, of course, with the V kit crates, which should be pretty much the best thing that we get to open today. So I'm excited for that. Get all of these skin fragments open or skin boxes open as well. Um, I will give this uh, this torch a go in the mine as well, because I do want to see if it's going to be effective or not. Because to be honest with you, I don't know. Let's give it a quick go here. Um, Actually, yeah, actually, that's very effective. So we're going to save that until we have a slightly bigger mine, because I feel like it would be wasted right now. 
We've got some Mystery Vault V kits as well here. Um, we'll see what these can be. These are going to be a very uh, or a lot higher tier than obviously the other Mystery Vaults that will be opening. So we'll take this. And once I've opened all this, guys, I will go ahead and announce the top right and giveaway. So you guys don't have to wait too long for that. Let's go ahead and claim all of this. Rare skin boxes as well. We're actually probably on our way to unlocking our first skin here very, very soon. So I'm excited about that. Let's open up these relic caches as well here. See what we've got ourselves. This again should just be a nice little boost of tokens. Yes, it will be a very nice boost of tokens, actually. A couple of torches in there as well. A couple of skin fragments. We'll take those. And we've got some Mystery Vault bronzes. And then we're on to the Mystery Vault V kits. Or oh, no, sorry, not Mystery Vault V kits. We've got V kit crates, which we need to open, which I still haven't done yet. We've got seven pet eggs as well to start our journey off here, which is actually very significant. That should help us get hopefully a decent tier pet to start today. Um, I didn't actually get to see what the rewards were out of those, but that's okay. Um, it obviously wasn't anything too crazy. There we go. A couple more uh, skin fragments here. Will we unlock our first one? Not quite. That's okay. All right. Let's get onto these V-Kit crates then and see what we can get out of these. Hopefully, we're going to get some very, very overpowered items. Let's take a look. Uh, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. What do we get? We got a custom tag and a god rank out of that and some robot gens. Okay, we'll take the robot gens. I think I might need to go to spawn or something just so we can see everything that we're getting. But that wasn't I that wasn't like horrific, I don't think. I think we've got some pretty decent things. I mean, the custom tag, honestly, is actually worth quite a bit. So we'll take that. All right, let's try again with the next V-Kit crate. There we go. Now we can start seeing things. Let's see what the jackpot item is going to be. An extra V-Kit crate. You can't really complain. It makes everything else in the crate free. We will absolutely take that. All right, um, we'll open up these, get as many tokens as we can. The idea today, guys, I want to see how much we can progress without mining a single block because I think that's, I don't know, it's kind of satisfying to see how, how much you can get like forward without even having to mine. Uh, we're going to get some relic caches here. These are going to be good for tokens again. We'll open up all of those, get all the goodies from those right there. Boom, boom, boom. Um, these these plasma torches might actually come in very, very useful here in the early days. Um, they don't become very useful after a certain point. And we do have our first skin. It is the Mind Splitter skin, um, which will obviously just split the mine in half. It does what it says on the tin. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely use these today. I think these are going to be very effective for our uh, start of the map. All right, next V-Kit crate. Let's see if we can get, wow, what the heck? Three chat color bundles. I've never seen that. Um, and Epic Robots. We'll take Epic Robots. Anything to help that AFK income, we'll take it. And last V-Kit crate for right now, we are going to get ourselves more robot gens. You know what? I will take it. I can't complain about robot generators at any point because we tend to use them quite heavily, especially at the start of the season. Our robot income is quite effective. So yes, we will not complain about that. Cool. So this is kind of our starting point then. Um, the only thing that I do have left to do is open up these booster vouchers. So let's see if we can get ourselves a two times or 1.9 times does go pretty well in the economy. We did get a 1.9 there and we do get a two times. So actually, some a very, very good boosters there that we could probably sell for a little bit of money. So I'm going to store those away and wait till we find like a buyer for those. Other than that, we've got a couple of ones in there and that is what it is. So guys, time to announce the giveaway. Of course, it is going to be the top rank. Now, all you guys need to do to be in with a chance of winning this top rank, which is, of course, the eternal rank. All you guys need to do to be in with a chance of winning that is you need to like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment your username. You need to connect using my IP if you're a Java edition user, which is Janazon mc.net and then you need to make sure that you've entered in the giveaways only discord that will be linked down below as long as you've done all that you're officially entered you'll be able to enter actually on like every video that i publish on prisons this week um, i'm going to carry forward all the entries so if you see a video on prisons make sure you just go ahead automatically comment your username like the video subscribe all that good stuff and as long as you press the enter button in discord as long uh, uh, as well as all that stuff then you'll be good to go. Now, with all that in mind, let's go ahead and start using all of these torches and such that we have right here to uh, essentially get ourselves some free rank ups because that's what it kind of spells out to me right now. It, this kind of spells out absolutely free rank ups. So let's see how many we can get just from using these torches. And uh, hopefully by the end of using all of these will be a significantly higher rank and will have technically skipped a whole bunch of mining because I think honestly mining through these lower tiers is probably a waste of time if you can get your hand on these torches because uh, this this feels like I'm saving a lot of time here. I don't know if I am in comparison to mining, but I feel like mining is not going to be anywhere near this quick. And we've already upgraded our mine two times. It upgrades every 20 ranks. So being up to uh, rank 60 already, we've upgraded it twice. Once we get to 80, it'll go even bigger and slightly different blocks. That's just the way it works. Um, I think it upgrades one size every uh, side. And then, yeah, the, the the blocks just change into different blocks. The the actual value of the blocks don't really do anything, I don't think. Um, but it's just worth noting that they do have a visible change. Um, so we do have our first tier pouches, which we'll absolutely take right there. Those are always good for us. They are great sources of tokens and gems to begin the map off. 
One thing that I have noticed is, uh, or, or yeah, I guess there's two things that are now on the right-hand side are orbs and rebirth points. Now, orbs, I believe, is a completely new currency. I don't think I've seen that yet, so maybe I should read the, uh, maybe I should read the change log because I have no idea what that is there for. So we're going to have to find that out at some point here soon. But that is something which I haven't seen yet. And uh, yeah, this is literally my first time noticing that. Let's see if we can get our rank all the way up to 100 here without mining a single block. Because it looks like that's where we're about to get to. Um, yes, we are 98, uh, 99. And we should get to 100 right here. Boom, 100. We do, of course, get our first ornament to spend. I'm just going to go ahead and put it straight into rank boost because I'd like to rank up as quickly as possible this season. Oh, so without mining a single block, this is uh, this is kind of where we're at. I don't think we're going to get much further past here because obviously I'm running out of plasma torches now. Uh, so yeah, that is as far as we got rank 107 actually without mining a block, which is actually quite significant. I, I'd say that's actually pretty impressive. Um, the one thing that we do have that we could use are these airstrike beacons. So I'm going to open up these pet eggs and then we're going to go ahead and use those airstrike beacons. Let's see if we can get anything good in the pet eggs. We're looking for anything masterful tier or, uh, sorry, mythical tier or above. But it looks like we've only got legendary. However, one of them being a massive mead pet, which is actually one of the decent pets here on the server. So I think that's going to be the one we use for right now, uh, seeing as it is the uh, the highest tier that we've got pretty much. So we will yoink that and then we'll go ahead and see if these airstrike beacons are going to be effective or not. I seem to remember last season, these things were pretty crazy. So we might actually get some easy rank ups here. Yes, we will by the looks of it. It's unfortunate that our mine isn't a little bit bigger because I feel like whenever I use this normal airstrike beacon, it's probably going to be a little bit of a waste. But uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. We're at a really good like starting point right here. We got 296 trillion in the balance, uh, which means we can already max out token miner easily. That's let's get that max because we need as many tokens as we can possibly get. Uh, we can max out bolt, of course, which is going to give us a nice little speed boost. Now this is where we will always pretty much run into the same issue every season: is that jackhammer is an extremely, extremely expensive enchant, and we definitely can't max that out right now. However, what we could do is we could add 1.25 thousand levels to it, and that would be a very significant, uh, you know, a very significant addition to our enchant. Or what we could do is we could focus on some of the other enchants that are ahead of it that will make a bigger difference to our like season, like immediate. So for example, I think what I would like to do is I potentially like to max out key finder and then I'd like to max out token merchant and then I'd like to go into jackhammer. But thinking about it, I don't know because jackhammer is like the main rank up. So let's just put a thousand levels into this right now. Let's just do that because I feel like that's fair. I feel like we want to do that. And then let's see what we can actually do with the rest of this. Let's put in 500 levels, I think, of token merchant so that we're making as many tokens as possible. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's put the rest into Keyfinder. I feel like Keyfinder is going to be fairly easy to max out. I feel like it's not going to be too much of a problem at all. So we will work on that as and when we can. Let's chuck in these airstrike beacons, though. We've got a couple of these normal ones left. This should give me quite significant rank ups. This should, in fact, clear the mine. Um, and when it does, it will just reset and it kind of that's what I mean by like kind of wasting the airstrikes a little bit because the mines aren't really big enough to handle these these like big airstrikes right now. But it's OK. We'll still get a good few upgrades from it. There we go to rank 120. And this is where we're going to end up kind of wasting one, I think, because um, the way that this is going to work, uh, this is this is unfortunate, actually, because I think we are actually going to end up wasting some here. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I can get any like things that will help me out of these keys here. I don't know if we will. Yeah, we don't really, to be honest with you. Um, Because basically, for some reason, whenever you hit a new rank or a new mine, the first reset is like a really quick one. And I think if I if, if I set off a uh, airstrike beacon right now, it's probably going to waste it. We did just get Lumberjack unlocked, though, which is a nice little pickaxe skin to have. I might actually swap over to that one. So let's see what let's see what the actual perk of it is. Spawns us, but OK, it gives us tokens. And then this one give me tokens. And which one do we do? Gems. So let's just go with this one right now because we do kind of need tokens, to be honest with you. I did get a vintage plasma torch, so maybe we can cheat the whole mine reset thing and hopefully we can. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Now we can drop in one of those and hopefully it won't reset like immediately. That's what I was looking for right there. So let's put that on. There we go. Let's see how many rank ups you can get out of this. We're all the way up to 125 already without mining a single block. That is a pretty nice achievement. I will take that. Let's go in with our last airstrike beacon here before we're gonna have to actually start mining blocks and uh that will get us past 130 i'm hoping yes it does past 130 nicely 131 we'll take that let's use this a uh, couple of vintage plasma torches there we go so yeah we're at 131 
No blocks mined. Uh, what, a, what a nice little place to be at. Also got an attachment box, which I need to go ahead and open. See what our first attachment is going to be. A vein miner attachment. We obviously do not have that enchant available to us yet. Um, however, we may as well apply it. It's the only attachment that we've got. So yeah, it doesn't hurt anyone. There we go. Without mining a single block, that's what we're looking like right now. We have, uh, we've got, we've got 125 trill back in the balance as well. So we can go ahead and make some, uh, make some purchases here in a second. Let's go ahead and apply all of this. There we go. Uh, see what we get out of these. Should get some more tokens in. Yes, we do. All right, there we go. And let's go ahead and make some more purchases here. Let's see what we want to do now with this. I'm thinking we just max out key finder, get that out of the way and done. Yes, that is out of the way and done. Perfect. And it turns out we do actually have vein miner unlocked, which is actually a very, very overpowered enchant. So I'm considering actually just going ham on this. But at the same time, we really do need more levels of jackhammer. So um what is the compromise here i don't know what the compromise i i think the compromise is just screw it let's do 500 levels of vein miner here and then we can put the rest into jackhammer and hope that we are going to continue upgrading this as quickly as we possibly can i think that's the, i think that's the only way that we can do that fairly and now without further ado i think it's time to actually mine our first blocks having reached rank 131 i think that's a pretty significant uh place to be without mining a single block if I do say so myself, we might actually be able to cheat the system a little bit more here because we've got some milestone rewards, which I might be able to use to get even more like free blocks from. So that might be what is about to happen. Let's just double check to see if I've got anything else. Uh, we do indeed have a small airstrike beacon that I can put in there. So that's perfect. Uh, we've got a bunch of these. There we go. They're getting some more beacons here. You never know. See, you never know what can happen. We might actually be able to go even further here. Um, let's open up all these relic hashes as well. It looks like I got myself another RPG as well. Let's go ahead and open up the rest of those. More skin boxes. There we go. All right. Openables everywhere for the start of this season. We will not complain at all. We're getting a whole bunch more airstrike beacons. Again, not complaining at all. Open up all of these. Give myself all of these, uh, all of these different uh, skin fragments and apply them. There we go. And we've got a whole bunch more of these plasma torches now to use are these the good ones okay they're not like the best ones but that's okay hopefully a couple of more free rank ups from these and then we do have a couple more um airstrike beacons as well so we can use those it looks like we might end up actually i don't know if this is a jinx or not but we might actually end up over 150 here if i can get these airstrike beacons down and they're actually going to be effective let's see let's see if we can get over 150 here. i think we can i think this is going to be an easy over 150 i don't know Let's see. Let's let, let's just see. Let's let's not jinx anything right now. Let's see where we're at. Uh, 148. I'd say I'd say we're getting there. I'd say we're getting there without mining a single block. 150, which is actually insane when you think about it. I definitely challenge you guys to do this exact same thing. See how far you can get without mining a single block in your season. Like go go like jump on this ever right now after watching this video and literally just go and see how like far you can get without mining a single block like you can do voting you can use your v kits you can do whatever you like but yeah just don't mine a block and let me know how let me know where you get to because i'm genuinely intrigued i want to see if anyone else can do this like i feel like i'm the best no block player that's that's all i'm saying i feel like i'm the best no block player <laughs> <laughs> all right last airstrike beacon and then we are officially going for it i think it'll officially be time to uh to, to go ahead and start mining some blocks uh we managed to go over 150 without mining but i think our time has come to uh to to begin mining depending on what this gives me yeah i don't think it gave me anything that i needed let's open up all the keys that we have remaining and then it is time so yes that's everything open up two of those two of those couple of those boom all of the skin fragments in we do have one more rpg here hold on it's not over not over till it's over let's go ahead and just, we actually this is ridiculous how far you can get without mining a block it actually is kind of ridiculous not gonna lie um uh, right we actually have lumberjack level two now which is a, insane without mining a block again um let's get rid of these vintage plasma torches that we've got here there we go i think we're done i think we're officially done i will check my keys once more but i i, I think that's gonna be it i think that is it that is our starting point officially to start and mining our first block i mean technically we do have one more milestone reward so i guess we'll have to open that first you never know oh we did get another uh, vintage plasma torch so i guess uh i guess we might be able to get at least one more rank up here because i gotta try and beat you guys for whatever the heck you're gonna whatever you're gonna get to without mining i gotta beat you so will we get an extra rank up out of this uh we might honestly yes we will We'll get an extra rank up out of that at least. Maybe even two if we're lucky. Not quite two. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I think that is officially it. I think that is all that we can actually do. I don't think there's anything else that we can claim. We've claimed all of our V-Kits. We have claimed maybe there's like a random kit on here or something. Kit best community. Hold on. 
It's not over yet. Kit, uh, what else have we got on here? Eternal once. Okay, that's a kit, apparently. I didn't even know that. Uh, let's go ahead and open the V-Kit crate that comes with that. <laughs> Did not even know that that was a kit. Let's open up these Mystery Vault Golds as well. Bunch of robot chests. Wow, that was actually worth opening. Oh, we got some more large airstrike beakers. It's not over, I'm telling you guys. You don't count me out yet. Do not count me out yet. I, I, I've I still got a while to go here. I've still, I'm still in this. Still got two large airstrike beacons. I am not 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 ending yet. It's it's still it's still going. It's still going. Um, we've also got another RPG there by the looks of it. We'll take that. Uh, we'll apply the skin tokens or whatever the heck they're called, skin fragments. Uh, there we go. We got another one. Oh, we got a antique plasma torch that time. That one's even better. We got an attachment box there as well. Meteor attachment. Got a crystal box here. This will be good for whatever it is. Uh, crystals. I can't spell. Here we go, crystals. Oh, we don't even have a friggin' slot unlocked yet. That's okay. I kind of wasn't expecting to. Uh, we'll put those away there for now. So we've got these two things, which should help me with a couple more rank ups for free. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a nice few rank ups here, actually. 160, 161, 162. Oh, yeah, that's nice. There we go. All right, 164. Let's go spawn them back. And then I've, I'm going to drop in these large airstrike beacons. I think these are going to be uh, going to fly me up some ranks. I think we might get 175 here to be honest with you, with this large one as well. I don't know, actually. Maybe my mind's not big enough. Oh, that was tragic. We actually lost a lot of its ability right there. That's okay. Maybe maybe, maybe there's a miracle left in it. We'll at least pass 170. We know that. Maybe there's a miracle left in it to get it to 175. My mind just isn't big enough, eh? My mind just is not big enough. It's, it's wasted in there. It's wasted in there. Okay, I do genuinely think that's it, though. I don't think there's anything else that we can realistically get now that would help us. Um, well, actually, I, I think technically there is. If I wanted to go into the, if I wanted to get into the thick of it, I think we could technically do all the other once kits that were ahead of, like, yeah, ahead of the top rank. Um, if I was being pedantic, am I being that pedantic? I think I might be. You know, what is what is what is ahead of it? Infinity, infinity plus once. Wait, I don't even know what the freaking ranks are anymore. Infinity. Let's try infinity once. Uh, and let's see what we get out of that. Because the, 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 honestly, this might this might end up happening for us. We might end up getting something here. I don't think we did. Although, I did just see that we did get a kit infinity keys and like immortal keys. Is this going to be good? 20 merit keys? Okay, that's not bad, actually. We'll take that. Is there anything in here, though, that's going to help us is the question. Is anything in here going to help us here? I don't think it will. Are we going to be finally there? Are we actually going to have to mine a block here? Have we exhausted every option? This might be it. This might be where we have to actually mine. Let's see if we can get anything that will help us. I mean, technically the drills would help us, but I'm not going to be placing those down because those those are kind of a waste right now because we have a bunch of challenges which we'll need those for later on. So I don't really want to use them right now. But theoretically, just know, okay, I could be higher than, than I am right now. We've got 200 trill as well to spend before we even uh, freaking lay a hand on this mine. Let's go ahead and um, hmm, what do we do with this? What do we do? I guess we could go XP finding, make it, make sure that we get our pickaxe XP going up nice and quick. Um, we could do meteor shower. There's so many options here. So many options here. Um, I actually want to put in another 500 of vein miner because I know how good and important that enchant has been in past seasons. And then I'm going to just put the rest into XP finder because we're going to need that. All right. I think it's officially time that we actually do start to mine something here. Let's see if, uh, let's see if, well, do we even need to mine something? Is, it, is this not a good enough start for day one? You know what? Screw it. We're going to leave it there. We are going to absolutely leave it there with zero blocks mined. And my challenge to you guys is to beat what I've done today. I want you to I want you to come online. I want you to mine absolutely no blocks. And I want you to get higher than rank 172. That is your challenge. Good luck, everybody. This is the first episode of a brand new season, guys. I'll be posting more as this season develops, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you have enjoyed, make sure you do hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And that's going to be it from me today. And I'll see you all in the next episode of OP Prisons here on Akuma MC.